I'm gonna go with Katanga Copper Crescent on this guy. The, uh, this this would be from the uh, uh, copper mines of the Katanga. A uh, very interesting matrix. Um, first of all, the the, the almost metallic uh, black material would be most likely a, a majority cuprite. So I think with strong light, you may even have this red shine coming through it. Then when you zoom into the still pictures, you'll see on this side, it's a it's a paler chrysocolor, so almost a white pale blue chrysocolor. Whereas when we go into this side, it's a little bit more greenish inside it. So it could be a, a blue chrysocolor and green chrysocolor. Then when you look into these little patterned sections, you'll find some dark blue, which could very well be some shatukite associated as well. And the green could, of course, be malachite. It's a little bit off color for malachite. I'd rather go with, on, in this case, perhaps chrysocolor would be the more accurate. And then the holding matrix would be the... Um, most likely cuprite. It's sort of a metallic gray, relative weight, quite heavy. Lovely polished finish. Now, this has been polished by a lad in Johannesburg. I, I have encountered material polished by uh, uh, people in the Congo, and the, the finish was by no means the, the kind of quality finish we have here. Lovely piece. Good size, maybe just about half a palm size and very in intricate coloration. I mean, this side, it almost looks like we're looking at two different stones when we look at this side and we compare it to this side.